So if no one's on this, logging into Amazon, giving them the documents in a timely fashion, guess what? You're not going to get paid. And also, guess what? People will submit a claim and they forget about it, like everything in life. Most claims are not one on the first, often the third time. So if you do it internally, it's fine, but you need to be diligent, like anything in life or business. If you're not, you'll lose. And guess what? They're not going to pay unless they have everything they need. That's what they're instructed. We try mm -hmm. to create an environment where you could provide those things. Basically, proof of purchase, you could do it on your own. You could use our tool, proof of delivery. We could help you integrate. You could do it. Open a case to Amazon. Follow up with a case as many times as needed to make sure they pay you. Turns could be that you're wrong and you admit it. Could be that they wrong, they're wrong, and they'll admit it. But for sure, if you don't do anything, you lose out. A lot of people think they have inbound covered and they want us to do all claims, but not inbound. And even after everything I told you, even if you do that process, this is a bit deeper, but if you actually do a full reconciliation of every single unit, and all the all the journeys we mentioned, you often find that there's actually more inbound missing because you're just taking their word for it on the initial discrepancy. But if you reconcile every single piece, units and shipped, sold, returned, unfulfilled, which we call um, full reconciliation, in addition to the typical inbound obvious discrepancy, you'll find a full deeper analysis of other loss, which could be a lot for some. That's something that we also do, a full you know analysis, like an audit uh, of the journey. Um, but again, you could do it on your own. We can help you do it. That's the process of becoming aware of it, logging in, submitting documentation, following up, and hopefully, you know, winning your case. And and you're doing this all through seller support, right? You create a case and then you simply stay on top of that case. That's that's how you do it. Yeah, um, we have a limited user for your account that just files cases. In this case, inbound. But again not that simple because we have many sellers, many shipments, many documents. So how do you scale an organization where you're, you know, filing hundreds of thousands or millions of cases a month, each with their own documents to their own seller, to their own shipment, to their own carrier. So we've had right. to create a significant tech team domestically, globally, and infrastructure and relationship with Amazon to even scale to this point. Because, you know, to do it for 10 or 100 sellers like we used to, you could use spreadsheets. But to do it for 10, 20,000 sellers, do you need real systems, which we've we've invested in? Yeah, yeah. So for an individual seller, they just have to develop their own internal way of tracking this because it's you have when you create a case through Amazon help system, that's a case that is in your case log. And and these cases you create for claiming losses, it just they just get mixed up with everything else. Yeah. So, that's a good point. And this is something we spoke about. You know, one, one time a seller asked us if he could use our case system, you know, because he wants to do not only discrepancy cases, but other types of cases about listings and content and ranking and follow up. You almost need like a CRM or a, 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 a follow up system, follow up with Amazon. I, my company, my, the one that I sold, the, the, the product company, you know, we had like 12 or 13 people opening cases on, you know, 7,000 different SKUs. And they had to keep a spreadsheet to say, like, did Amazon reply? What did they reply? Is it solved? There's no system now in Seller Central help that tells you status. It's just, it's just overwhelming. So part of our technology and efficiency is that, that we have internal checks to know what was filed, what was not filed, what's going to expire, what's the highest value, which seller is time sensitive, who do we need to call for documents, who do we need to call carriers for? Like it's it sounds simple, but it's complex, even for one seller, let alone you know, uh, tens, it, it of, is. tens of thousands. Be. Yeah, yeah, it can be very complex. I mean, this it, at this point in time, if you're handling multiple transactions, and even if you're a single seller, you you need to have some kind of a CRM system, not necessarily just for customer handling, but process handling, right? So those processes need yeah. to be well defined. Need they need to be flagged. So you need to report when certain flags occur and, and yeah. with the with the Amazon system, you just have a case log and everything is mixed together. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no API on the case level because it's two-way communication, which is not typical for API environment and scale. Yeah. So when I was a seller, like I had one guy dealing with, you know, 
listing suspensions or, or, or issues. I had one guy dealing with quality control. I had one guy dealing with, you know, used like new issues. I, like, I had like nine different work streams, but it was super hard to manage it. And it could be that one of them is so much more of a hit to your revenue than the other, but you have no way to prioritize it because there's no system on the market. That would be something cool for someone to develop, although it's hard. But we have that internally that we use for sellers specifically for reimbursements again, just reimbursements. I can yeah. think of like, you know, 17 other use cases and unfortunately there isn't. So you have these big companies that just have so many people and they all make up their own system that, you know, hopefully works. Yeah.